Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's learn with a mechanical engineer. So today we are going to design a QR quick release. So what exactly is a quick release and where is it is you where is it used? I have clearly mentioned in the description below. Please go through it. So now let's just begin with the design. This is the QR body, QR cover, and this thing is a QR shaft. So we'll begin with the design of QR body. Just sketch it on the front plane. So guys, this is the sketch you are supposed to draw on the front plane. It is a basic sketch. Uh, this is the radius 0.75. So I'll zoom in for you. 7.5. This is 7.5, and this middle distance is 0.5. So total height becomes 2. So guys, I just want you to. Pause the video. Take the dimension. Just pause the video. Take the dimension and just draw the sketch and revolve the sketch about this axis. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like. Now, just give a chamfer. Of 1.5 to this. Okay. To this edge. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And this edge. Okay. And again, take a chamfer. This time. With a radius of 0.5, this edge, on this edge, on the top edge, done. Now sketch on this face. Draw a circle of 7 mm 5. The vertical distance of 25. Just make sure that the points are vertical. Press control and press both the points vertical. Just extrude cut this thing. Through all. And just pattern this thing. About this axis, right. circular. You can select any circular point. Eight circular patterns. Okay. So this is your part. Q R body. So I'm sorry, cover. So just give an appearance to it. I'm giving a blue color to it. Okay. Just save this part. As I already saved it, I'm not going to save it again. So, so the next part that we are going to design is a QR body. So I'll just sketch on the front plane. Draw center line. Again, this involves a revolve property. So guys, you are supposed to draw the sketch on the front plane. Just pause the video. Take the dimensions. It's a simple sketch. I have already mentioned all the dimension. Just closely watch all the dimension and make the sketch. And now I'm going to revolve the sketch about this axis. Okay. Now sketch on this plane face. Yes. Dimension this thing by thirty five mm. So 
so you mentioned this thing by 6 mm it's 6 so now again take a circle make a center line dimension this thing 35 mm 5 yeah. and dimension this distance as 45 okay. and this angle as 30 degree Okay, I'll just extrude cut this thing now. Through all. So this is how it's going to look like. Uh, now I'll just pattern this thing. Circular pattern. Through a circular direction of this. Give me circular direction. Uh, make it six. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like. Now just go to chamfer. I'm just yeah chamfer of 0.5 mm and give chamfer to this face. This select all this corner. Again, uh, go to fillet of 1.5 mm to this edge. Okay. Again, now again go to chamfer. 0.5 and 45 degree and for this and for this and then interior part yes okay so now just select the front plane again sketch on it sketch a circle of dimension 4 mm diameter at a particular distance of 7 mm just extrude cut this thing about the middle plane both the side yes similarly sketch it on the right plane now same sketch same thing you are supposed to do same 4 mm diameter at a vertical distance of 7 mm cut what the middle plane so our QR body is ready just give an appearance to it let's give it a yellow color just save this part as I have already saved it Okay, so next part we are going to design is QR shaft so again so guys you are supposed to draw the sketch on the front plane 
just pause them when you take the dimension and draw it. Now I'm going to revolve the sketch. Okay. So this is how it is going to look like. So this is the sketch. Just revolve the sketch. Okay. Now just take the chamfer. Go to features. Chamfer of point one point five mm. This corner. This corner. This and this corner. All the corners I just chamfered by 1.5 mm, and again take a chamfer of 0.5 mm. Chamfer this part. So here your shaft is ready. Cure shaft. Now just begin with the assembly part. So first of all, I'm going to browse. QR body. One is seven. Again, insert component. Browse. Get QR cover. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to just make make them coincident. Okay. And I'm going to give a limit distance between these two, a distance of 13.5 mm. Okay. So these are the two mates for these two bodies. Now I'm going to insert the third part. It's a solid shaft. Again, same feature, just made the and make it coincidence. I'm sorry, concentric. Just reverse this part. Yes, okay. Just pull this out and made this face and this face. Okay, and now. Just made any one plane. I'm sorry, not from this front plane. To uh, our main body, front plane. With the front plane of the shaft. So that. Okay, so we are done with the assembly. Thank you very much for watching my video. Guys, if you liked it, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.